Hello everyone, welcome back to All The Mods 8. It's been a while since I've been in this pack, I must admit. Uh, I, I'm just clearing this entire area out. So... Ooh, maybe I, I went too far on this one. That's a bit poop. Not entirely sure, but anyway. What I've got over here is... Oh, there's a villager right there. I might nick him. Let's get a yoinker quickly. Let's grab one of these. Well, it's a zombie villager, but it's still a villager, right? I don't even know what type of villager this is. It's got a little monocle. It's interesting. Right, anyway, yeah, the plan is I'm going to clear this area out. I want to flatten the entire area. Uh, and then what I'll do is I'll try and sort of blend like the surrounding area in, if you know what I mean. This is going to cause a lot of things to spawn. Yeah, so my, my whole thought was, uh, if I go into this map, there we go, you can see it right here. I think I started here, and then I went down to this one over here. So that's like quite a big area that's going to be cleared out with one run of the builder. You can see it on the map, actually. You can see like that's being removed, then this one, and yeah. So that's one massive square, and that's most of it done, right? And then I'll do, like, maybe this rectangle, and then maybe this rectangle, and then this rectangle. And then I'll do that on the other side as well. So this is going to be kind of quite a lot of um, using the builder to clear out a big area. Uh, I'm also going to have to do it, like, in... Maybe i do this. Ooh, that's a point. I could do from up here over to... No, I'm already doing that. Maybe this little area and then... I don't know. Anyway, the plan is clear it all out, blend in the existing areas. Like, I forgot this was over here, if I'm honest. By the way, that's my spawn right there. Uh, we can hop over there right now. Whilst this is doing its thing. Oh yeah, this is how I, uh, I, I made the box. So what you do with the builder is you, you right click like one corner and then you right click the other corner. So you need one up in the air and one down on the, the like floor, if you know what I mean. Uh, but yeah, where where is, I think it's right, ah, there it is. This is my spawn area. So I need to uh, be careful about this because oh, I've got all of those things. Is that is that some phantoms? I think I've got a phantom start neural networks i do i've got a bunch of phantom ones right here so what i can do is stick that in my having a little nom right there ah, okay so they're already basic i didn't realize i got them to basic we can kill these off and get a couple more there we go so a few more kills It'll say it in there. Okay, I need nine more to get it higher, but I could just stick these in hostile neural networks, which I think once um once I've got this all finished right here, as in all of this is uh all flattened out and I figured out what I want to do with the floor. I'm think I might make a dirt floor. Just for now. It'll be a nice little base for the the base, funny enough. Uh but yeah, once we've got that all sorted, you know what I could do? I could do a big old, like, wall that goes all the way around it. That might be a nice idea. I'm still trying to figure something out for this, yeah, because it's, uh... I've never done a mega base in, in my life, so this is going to be my, my first attempt to mega base. This looks like it's nearly done as well, which is pretty awesome. Oh, maybe not, it's got a few more chunks. Oh, hello. That's not what I wanted to do. Uh, that one. There we go. Okay, it's over halfway done. Not bad, is it? Uh, right, so... After uh, all of this is finished, I think my plan is... And, and I've, like, set the floor up and, you know, maybe put a wall around it. Chucked a bunch of the mega torches down so nothing spawns within my area. I think I'm going to do some planning and set up 
uh, sort of quadrants. So like this arm over here, so again, if we look at the map, this arm here could be for, I don't know, like something. Maybe maybe I put, well, I could do it by mod. That's what I was thinking. So five main mods, so over here, or actions. Yeah, I'm still sort of figuring it out, but maybe this part here could be purely for like mob farms, hostile neural networks. You know, I've got my my little pods that I've got over there, my little tide pods. And then maybe I set up ours and Britannia over here. And then industrial foregoing and immersive, maybe go over here. Over here, not sure. Maybe mystical and bees would be a good one for this. And then maybe over here, auto crafting of some sort, as in um, like I set up a bunch of crafters and this could be my little crafting area. Uh, obviously, all the auto crafting will be in each of the different sections. So obviously over here, we've got the uh, the mob farms. They're not really auto crafting, are they? They're just getting us resources automatically. But you know what I mean? Uh, that's the plan, I think. Um, I also intend to surround this entire thing, like eat, like the, you know, the edge of this entire thing, with um, all the mod star blocks, because I think that'd be awesome. And then right in the middle here, I think is where the all the mod star automations should go. So I've got a plan for that already. Uh, so that'll be a couple of bees right in the middle, like the the little beehive things. And then uh, loads, well, I'm thinking four of the, the crafters. I've looked at that map far too long now. So if we hop over to our original base, I'll show you what I mean. The, uh, the big old star crafter that we've got right there. Yeah, sure. I'm thinking we, we set up four of these because there's four chunks. So we can have one in each chunk. They can all be looking in different directions. And then loads more ATM star bees. Set them all up. Yeah, I think that would be a good idea. Uh, I just need to go do it now. That's the only issue. Uh, this is going to take a little while for me to figure out what to do over here. Oh, no. Did I? No, I'm good. I just chopped the front off this. <laughs> I could leave this here, to be fair. We could just have it as like a little spawn area. In fact, what I could do is we could set this as our spawn point. Is that not a thing? Oh, maybe I need to be in uh, the creative mode thingy. So that's not it. Where? Uh, open to land. Do one of those slash set world spawn that looks about right doesn't it oh hello do i just do that cool okay so that is now the world spawn right in there and then i'll do like a little bridge or something that that bridges down another thing i could do ah just thinking about it yeah this might work i could copy paste gadget this and put it on the floor and then that way yeah, and then I'll reset up the, uh, the the spawn point right there. I think that might be a good idea. What in the heck is that? What the flip? Look at... Oh, hello. Look at the llama. It looks so weird. What about this one? This one looks fine. I don't know what this... Uh, wandering trader, what have you got? Ah, okay. That's pretty good. I'd suggest picking these up if you can afford them. Now, I have got a copy of this already, so it's sad to see it go, but there we go. I forgot about these. You have to shift and then break them, and you get the, the barrels back from there. I did pick everything up from my emergency. Eh. <laughs> the air is on fire. Yeah, I picked everything up from my emergency chest. Also, I messed this one up because it's slightly higher than everything else which is fine we'll figure that one out 
Okay, so I have, if I go into this mode, look at that, it's all completely flat. Although I do need to knock off one more uh, level over here. And then we are gonna put down a floor. Did I forget this corner? I think I did. I forgot that a minute ago. Anyway, yeah, I've done all of these. I'll come back and do that bit. So what I need to do is uh, I need to export some uh, some dirt. Let's get some dirt. Yes. Yeah. And then I can stick. How have I got these set up? Okay, like that. That'll do it. You can't open it because it still acts like a chest. I don't think it should, if I'm honest. Like, oh, I want to try this out. They still haven't fixed this issue. This has been an issue for like the longest time. The only reason I can go up and down here is because I've got the elevator from the elevators mod. Uh, but you can't go down on, look, you can go up. I'm in my basement right now, right? I can go up because I'm stood on this travel anchor and there's one above me, but you can't go down. Ah. They might have um they might have rebound like the keys or something and I'm doing that completely wrong. But it surely shift to go down makes more sense. I don't know what they're playing at. Anyway, um if I come over here, I have this chest. Oh wow, you can change it with the wrench. That's good to know. Yeah. Full of dirt, and this is what I'll be using to uh, basically put uh, one layer of dirt in this area. And then what I plan on doing is around the edges for now, because we don't have the 2,000 odd ATM stars. How many do we have? Let, oh, that's the wrong one. That's the wrong one too. ATM stars. We've got 41. It's not bad, is it? But yeah, I, I've given up on the idea of using covers because I want them kind of exposed on the top. So I might I might do them every other one. Every other block I'll have an ATM star and have like barricades or whatever you call them. You know, where it goes all the way around. So the entire edge of this. Anyway, yeah, that's the plan. I made this ender chest be full of dirt. And then I can use a, not a clearing quarry, but a, a regular quarry. No, regular building card. And we can build like a flat area right here. Also, I have noticed that there's quite a few of these uh, source things from uh, Elemental Craft about. I think there's one over here as well somewhere. Uh, can't see it right now. Uh, but I plan on nicking this. And there is a way of like picking these up and moving them elsewhere. So that'll be in my Elemental Craft area eventually. I, I plan on getting like maybe four of these. As in four, I think this is the water one. So I'll get four water ones, four earth, four fire, and four air at some point. And uh, we'll have that set up in one of the areas. I have decided what I'm doing right here. So this this part here is like the um, Patrick's, how do I say it without being crude, uh, area where he evacuates. There you go. <laughs> anyway, this is where I plan on putting all of my mine colonies, refined storage, automated stuff. Thank you to the Greeny machine. Uh, there's a flipping good episode or a video even on his channel. I think it's the first one he's put out. Really, really good. So what I'll do is... Um, I'll link that in the description and we'll set it up before we end the episode today. And, uh, stupidly good. Rock bottom. What does that mean? Have a miner mine to bedrock. No way. <laughs> That's really cool. Oh dear. That means I have to move my miner. Is that how that works? I, I'm not entirely sure. But anyway. Uh, we're ignoring mine colonies for the time being. I do need to swap this out for a regular... Uh, you know what? Sod it. Trash can. Let's chuck a trash can on here. And we'll just trash everything. Uh, in this corner over here. Now, whilst this is um, this is mining, I, I did want to try something. Which is... If you go to options, video settings. There is a shader pack. And I never knew this. 
I've never been in here before. Uh, I only know about this because um, I'm playing Gravitas right now, and it's got a really cool shader pack. So I'm going to try it. This, um, all the mods are 8, does completely, oh, it's a beast, right? So if I do add a shader pack, it, it might be, like, unbearable to play. But we can at least try them out and have a look around. Oh my goodness, okay, it's, it's, um, <laughs> wow, okay. What? Ah, oh, look at the water, oh my, what? It's all shiny, you can see, you can see the reflection in the water. And the sun as well, oh my goodness, this is so cool. My uh, my frames aren't that bad, I must admit. <gasps> Wait, we got to go look at the mine colony and, and the rest of my base. Okay, this is really, yeah, screwing with my frames, but... Okay, this one is super cool. I like it. Oh, look at the mine colony. Oh, it's so cool. Oh. It's a bit hazy though, isn't it? Let's Let's try, let's try a different one. Different shader pack. So that was, uh, what is it? Clomp. It, it, that one, the top one. Uh, and then we've got the the second one. So apply, see what this one looks like. It might be relatively similar. They look like, oh, actually, no, it's not. Whoa, okay. This one's also really nice. I think this one's slightly nicer. Because the glow is uh, from the sun isn't as noticeable. Although I can't see my my own hand when I've uh, when I don't have anything in it. Normally you can. Oh, this is cool though. What's the water look like? That's a that's a good one actually. It does make the water kind of see through. Oh wow! That is, that is super cool. Yeah, you can see quite a bit. I didn't even think about this. It, does it change what stuff looks like? Look at them, they're glowing. How cool is that? I'm not going to kill them because otherwise I'll... Uh... Like, it, it doesn't show my Morgan either. I'm swinging with it right now and you can't see it. So it must mess with, with that a little bit. Oh my goodness, this is so cool. I think I could probably handle this as well, for some reason. Right. There is one last one, so we'll give that one a go as well. But I think uh, number two right there is the, the winner right now. Apply. Oh, this one's quite nice as well, though. This one's um slightly less noticeable. Um, the, the water's... Not change too much. These guys are still glowy. <laughs> I like that. Yeah, I think I like number two the most. This one's got like a little... Again, it's got a bit of a haze over it. Interesting. Okay, well, I'll, I'll switch back to the second one. And then... Uh, Maybe we just keep this on from now on. I know in all the mods Gravitas, I've been sort of turning it off every so often when it's been dropping frames, but this doesn't seem to drop frames. I don't understand why, because this is such a massive like beast of a pack. Whereas Gravitas is not at all a beast. It's got like barely any mods. The biggest mod in it, I think, is Terra Firmacraft. Wow, okay. Oh, look at the water. The water is so cool. I, I'm always amazed by uh, the water in shader packs. Look at it. It just looks so cool. Ah, oh, okay. Amazing. Right. Now that uh, that's been dealt with, I am going to set up a shape card. And we're going to shape card the, uh, the outline. Or not the outline, but like... Do the exact same thing we just did, but instead of, like, destroying everything to this level, we're going to build a single level of... I See, I don't know if I should do that, or I should use the copy-paste gadget. And we can use the copy-paste gadget to, like, 
place down uh, a chunk of dirt? I don't know. Oh, whilst we're here as well, let's grab a sapling. Just random sapling like that. And some bone meal. And we'll get this wixy charm because why not? Wixy shard. But no, no, it's not a wixy. What, what are you guys called again? Well, Sprig. Oh, it might be. This might be a twofer right here. Sweet, we got both of them. Ah, look at the lava as well. Wow, I didn't even think about lava. Look at it. Ah, uh, so cool. Sorry, I'll stop gushing over this now. Uh, the plan is. Oh, that looks really nice as well. I like the uh, copper. Yeah, uh, so the plan is now to get this base in place, the, the, as in the base of the base, the floor. <laughs> and uh, after that, I'm going to set up that thing from Mine, mine Colonies that um, the Greeny Machine uh, has uh, done a really cool guide on. Now, I don't have to be too delicate with this, so... Yeah, I've just got it to do the corner there all the way to... Oh, to be fair, I should have done it over in... Yeah, a bit further out, but it's, it is all good. Look at that. It's putting down loads of grass. And the cool thing is, now we've got Batania, I can go and make... Uh, all you have to do is combine some mana with some, like, sheared grass, if you know what I mean. Not, not the uh, grass block, but, like, the sheared grass sort of stuff. And then you get this um, this seed, which you can just right click on some dirt, and it will turn it into some uh, some grass. So we'll turn all of this into grass eventually. Uh, I do need to go put down a mega torch. Mega. Yeah, I did notice this place was getting a little overrun. So we got a bit of an issue where I was covering the water, but as in all the way down to get rid of the water. Yeah, and we had like a few areas where some, uh, I think jellyfish and other bits were about. The way that I'm dealing with those is I've got the Morgan. You just right click and you hold right click for a while and then you let go. And it kills stuff in like a big area. It's not overly big, so you might want to use it sparingly, but if I do one of those, see it kills all of those, which is not bad. Uh, yeah, so all I need to do now is I, I just need to run this again, I suppose. And it should fill in all the areas. Let's try it. So if we look over here, yeah, there it goes, filling in all of those bits. Lovely. And here we are. Look at this. This is really cool. I'm really glad that uh, you showed me this, uh, the Greeny Machine, because this is uh, actually one of the programs that I tried to use before, but I didn't know how to get it up and running properly, and I couldn't find anybody that was uh, willing to do a good tutorial. So I'm glad you figured it out and then uh, told everybody else, because that's, that's, how, that's how it should be. So... What this does is it will feed our mine colony all of the items that it needs, if it can. So in this case, chiseled stone blocks. We don't have a crafting recipe for that. So if I go and make some chiseled... Okay, there we go. That's how you do it. That is one of these, which means we can make those and then do this. Right, so it needs 16. You can see it right there. Chiseled stone blocks. Lob them in, give it a minute. I think it, it has to, um, it says paused right now. So it has to like wait and then it will go off and figure out that it's got those and it will plonk, plonk it in the, uh, in the system, which is super cool. We also need some carrots. Okay, we've only got 39 right now. It says it right there, look, 39, but we need two to 63. So we do need a lot more carrots. Um. I don't know what request system means. Maybe maybe we should get some carrots. Uh, I am going to grab one of these and get some bone meal. 
and uh, I'll grab my hoe out of my backpack, indestructible hoe. We can do that, and then we can just bone mill the crap out of this, get a load more carrots. And now I can't remember. Okay, cool. The bunny slippers. I'm I'm wearing the kitty slippers right now, but the bunny slippers mean that you don't break the uh, the tilled grass or the the tilled dirt. Uh, that always caught me out back in the day. But anyway, so now if we lob in some carrots. Oh, we also got some verdant sprigs. I don't know if this means. Do I have to redo it? Ho of any level as well. Aha, ho. Let's try and give them. Can we just make an all the modium ho right now? This is going to really annoy everyone. I'm going to use the hammer recipe because why not? One of those, and then what? What is it for? Yeah, one, two. Uh, I don't think that's going to be able to do that. What I might do is set up... Hmm. One. Uh, okay, I don't really want to show you the setup that I've got behind here because uh, I want you to go watch the Greener Machines video. But I'll show you one thing that he, he has done, which is awesome. You can use an entangled block on the warehouse, which is really, really cool. Uh, but what I will do is if I get... A, what what is it? So I had my ender chest previously, didn't I? So if I use this ender chest, was it brown that I used for for this ender chest? I can't remember. I think it was. And then I can get a pipe from the pipes mod. Stick uh, an upgrade on there. Can't remember what's in this upgrade. Uh, let's grab our pipe wrench as well. We can do one of those. Okay, let's remove all of those things. We can stick it on whitelist again. I think that means anything can go in go in here. Can we do that? Yeah. Now the reason I'm doing this, I'm gonna cover this up by the way, because that way you'll have to go watch the video. But the reason I'm I'm about to do the thing that I'm about to do, which is uh, I'm going to have a chest, a double chest right here, and then underneath that, I'm going to have another pipe from the pipes mod, with, uh, yeah, one of the, so if I do one like that, get a chest. Uh, this is, the, the way that I built this, the, the base, right, is that it's, uh, it's two chunks, so there's no odd numbers, which is a bit annoying because I'm used to odd numbers. Uh, and then if we get another ender chest, I'll have to dye this brown. Oh, okay, I am going to need to break these bits out, which is fine, just to do that. And then let's throw that one in. And then we can put this one on top. And then this chest right here, whatever we put in there, will go to our colony. That's uh, that's the plan at least. So, oh, flipping heck, look how much stuff that these guys need. Uh, we need some paper. That's one thing. We need fertilizer. So, let's get paper. Uh, that looks like it should be enough paper. Good. Fertilizer, which I think we can use bone meal for. So let's get 1028 because we've got a bunch of bone meal or bones that we could turn into bone meal. Again, remember these are all going to the colony right now. Uh, I'm going to put all of these back in my backpack really quickly. Oh, wait. Get rid of the wand as well. Fertilizer, are you still looking for fertilizer? That is fine. It says right here, framed paper extra. So I do kind of need, I forgot about this. So this is uh, Domen Ornamentum, right? Sea Lantern, flipping neck. Yeah, so I forgot about these. They don't have any of the extra info on there, but 
you can see it just got the, the fertilizer. So that's pretty good. And it says remaining. So we can do, let's do the uh, stone block slabs or stone brick slabs and the sea lantern. Stone brick, we got stone bricks right here. Lob them in. Uh, all of these, by the way, are the ones that it can't craft itself. So if we don't have a crafting recipe, for example, for stone brick slabs, like we didn't, then it will show up on this screen and say, like, these are the things you need, dude. Go and send these over to your mine colonies, please. Um, but, see, right there. Oh, we need more paper. Flipping heck. See if we can make 1028 of paper. Perfect. I'll grab a bunch of paper, lob them in here. We should probably have a recipe set up for paper. That would be easier. I'll go do that in a sec. But sea lantern, sea, sea lantern. We should have enough to make one of those as well. Lob that in. That means the sea lantern will go away, and then it's just the dome and ornamentum stuff that I need for. Uh, Garrod over there, Mr. Garrod. So in three seconds, we should see the sea lantern disappear because it's got it in the system. There we go. It disappeared. So did the paper. Ah, oh, this is so cool. I like this. It would be kind of cool if I could expand this even more and have like, I don't know, a 10 by 10 or a 20 by 20 screen and it just display all of the stats from mine colonies or at least all of the things that the builders are requesting and the citizens are requesting that'd be so cool right anyway uh i think we are probably out of time right now let me uh let me open my map again Control j there we go i didn't manage to sort out this sort of area right now but i will do between this episode and next I'm still doing my uh, little tutorials on things that I've I've been doing for the ATM star. So if you are interested in that, I've got two episodes out right now. The first one, I just talk about stuff for a while. And uh, I think I go over making this, you know, the, the stuff that you need for making these things. So the unobtainium vibranium alloy stuff and so on and so on and the unobtainium or the modium alloy which you need for the all the mod star because these are in there right right at the top i think the second episode i talk about bees and one thing right before i before i go on i have to put this out there because i talk about bees because uh i have a setup in this world don't i to make antimatter and i think it's pretty decent i think it like we we actually fine-tuned it quite a lot and it, it's pretty nice but the one thing that i didn't mention nuclear waste oh, i can't spell it new there it is nuclear waste so these ones right here come from wasted radioactive combs and to get wasted radioactive combs, you need wasted radioactive bees. It says right here, radioactive bees dying to radiation has a chance to turn into wasted radioactive bees, right? And radioactive bees, when you click on them, uh, like this, they flip and remove it, haven't they? Okay, so radioactive bees used to be, uh, let me find one that... Uh, so I know Insanium Bees, because I also went over Insanium Bees in my latest one, but this species of bee cannot breed amongst themselves, meaning you can't have two Insanium Bees and make a little Insanium Bee by breeding them together, right? And the bad bee upgrades don't work on them. When I first set everything up, the wasted radioactive bees, I, I could be wrong here and I could have just read it wrong, but I, the wasted... Radioactive bees also had that line at the bottom that said these bees cannot breed amongst themselves. Otherwise, actually, how would you even breed these? I suppose the bat bee upgrades would probably work on 
yeah, that's how you'd probably do it. But all you need is two radioactive bees to breed up a bunch of radioactive bees. And then the ones that turn into wasted, you use them together and you breed the wasted ones up because they do breed together. And I didn't realize that uh, until someone mentioned it a while back. And I've been meaning to say it in an episode for like the longest time, but I never got around to it. So my apologies right there, but that is something that is really useful to know. And uh, yeah, I'm super sorry that I haven't mentioned it before. So if you are going for radio uh, wasted radioactive bees, I should say, then uh, yeah, bear in mind you can breed them together using uh, the BAP B upgrade. But yeah, that is all I have time for today. It's a bit of a weird episode because I am just doing a lot of planning right now and uh, I'm like moving. Is, is there another torch over here? Is that what that is? It is a torch. Okay, cool. Yeah, I am just doing loads and loads of planning and trying to figure out where everything's going to go. I need somewhere that I'm going to put storage because I would like to not use the uh, the storage you know, the infinite storage from refined storage for everything. I would like to set up like a massive storage area with drawers and stuff, just because I think that is causing me to not be able to uh, save my world. As in, when I click save and exit, it just hangs and it won't close. But I can just uh, like, you know, go into task manager and like end the process and it does save and everything it's just that's a little worrying right so that might not be the issue i'm just putting that out there it could be the fact that we have been in this world for let's have a look at the stats because i haven't done this in ages so we have been in this world for nearly 12 days of irl playtime right so that's quite a lot quite yeah we've been in here for ages and uh because of that, I've got a load of like loaded chunks. If we go into this map, we've got like a ton of loaded chunk. Look, yeah, maybe not all of these are loaded, but they are. How do I put it? I don't even know what this is over here. Oh, that's yeah, <laughs> not loaded, but um, we've generated a bunch of chunks, meaning that the the like save data is quite big at this point. Plus, by the way, did you know that there's a village right here? I didn't even notice this was here. Because it was behind, you know, the windmill that we spawned in at. Or near. There's some zombies over there. Brilliant. Anyway, right. That is where I am going to call it for today's episode. This is flipping beautiful. Love it. And uh, I am going to see you in the next one. Bye. I figured out what was hiding all of my stuff. I, the, the, okay, except the, the Morgan still doesn't show. It's, um, yeah, it was my mech suit. So what I've done is I've just turned them off. You can turn them back on just like this. But you can see my hand disappears every time I put on the uh, the, the body right there.